Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem very quickly. We have we are having square root of two y plus y equals two. The first thing is to make square root of two y the subject. So we have square root of two y to be equal to two minus y. Now the next thing is to square both sides. That way, 2y will become the subject. Okay, so we have to we have to square both sides. Now this will cancel this, so that 2y will be equal to 2 minus y into 2 minus y. Okay. Now let's open the bracket. 2y here will be equal to 2 times 2 will give 4. Then 2 times minus y, that is minus 2y. y Minus y times 2, that will give minus 2y. Then minus y times minus y will give plus y squared. This is 2y equal to 4 minus 4y plus y squared, right? Now, remember that this is the same thing as y squared, I want to start with y squared, then we have minus 4y, which is this, this becomes minus 2y, okay, and this is um, plus 4, everything here is equal to 0, okay, so that from here, y squared minus 6y plus 4 will be equal to 0. Now we have a quadratic equation, and we can solve this by using the formula method. And if we are using the formula, then our a will be 1, our b will be minus 6, and then the c will be equal to 4. Remember that a is the coefficient of y squared, b is the coefficient of um, y, and then c is a constant, right? Okay, so from here, let's get the formula. Y will be equal to minus B, positive or negative, square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. Now, why is the formula beginning with Y now? Because Y is the unknown variable in the equation. If it is X, if it is X in the equation, then here would have been X, okay? So now y will be equal to minus minus 6 because b is minus 6 plus or minus b squared will become minus 6 squared. Then minus 4 times a is 1, then c is 4. The whole of this will be over 2 times 1 because a is 1. y now will be equal to... 6 because negative negative will give positive right then plus or minus minus 6 squared will give 36 minus 4 times 1 times 4 will give 16 then the whole of this is over 2 now y will be equal to 6 plus or minus 36 minus 16 will give 20 and this is over 2. Now let's continue from here. Okay, so I want us to... Um, what I want us to do is to... You know, break this 20 down. So we can have y equal to 6 plus or minus 20 is 4 times 5. Now why did we not use 10 times 2? Because none of them is a perfect square. But 4 times 5, 4 here is a perfect square. Okay? So y will be equal to 6 plus or minus. Square root of 4 there is 2. Then we have root 5. This is over, over 2, right? Okay, now let's continue. y will be equal to 2 can go there. So that we have 3. Then plus or minus, the 2 again will go there, and we'll have just root 5. 
Now this means that y is equal to 3 plus root 5 or um, 3 minus root 5. Okay, so this is what we have. But then if you want to check to know whether you're right or wrong and you work with y equal to 3 plus root 5, the equation will not be balanced on the two sides right so this does not satisfy the equation if you try to check it yourself but then y to be equal to 3 minus root 5 satisfies the equation meaning that this is the only solution to the equation thank you for watching